Yeah, 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 check it out. It is Lay Ill Kid, aka One Youngster, with my man Avery and Christian. This is Chopping It Up Geek, and we got a review for you and all of your boys and girls out there, homies and homets, for Civil War, Captain America, Marvel, Disney, doing it up. That's how we do. I got goosebumps. Here we go. The movie, Captain America Civil War. Let's get first impressions. Avery, what was your first impression? Wow, well, it's got to be first, but okay. Because you begin with the A. Yeah. Okay. ACM, see? <laughs> I didn't watch no previews except for the trailers. I avoided everything. And I just have to say, Warner Brothers DC, if you're watching this, you need to really take notes. Like, that <laughs> movie did not disappoint. Well, they need to take notes because... I watched everything that was put out and leaked, and you still see nothing. You don't see anything. Like you, you, you can watch all the trailers and elite scenes and everything. Word. You you go see the movie and you haven't seen. Watch anything. for the left hook. Watch <laughs> for the hook. That's all I'm saying. You can, you I'm, can I'm, watch I'm just for the quoting Goody Mob. I'm very, and watch for the hook. I'm very I, good at spotting overall plot storylines. Yeah. And trickery and everything. I ain't seen none of that. Yeah. And I was looking. I was it. surprised. I was surprised and just totally delighted. And. Marvel, you be getting my money a few more times just to let you oh, know. Yeah. 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 All right, worry. So, my man Chris, what's your first impression from this film? Uh, I'm about to go spend my money on it again. Done. <laughs> can, I, can I add that I could not predict? Usually, you can kind of figure a movie out. I did that very smallly, but what they did after that, I was like, oh snap. Yeah, they threw you for the left and, and, and the thing is, I've read the Civil War storyline, the, the first one, not that BS that's coming out now, mm -hmm. the original one. And I was like, how are they going to do this into a movie? So, yeah. All right, check it. It's something totally different. This, this is yeah. totally different. This, this also like super espionage. Yeah. This is alias. This not, is, not this even. is 24. I'm talking about. Not even. It, was, it just went. It literally went deeper than that. It wasn't you know, just like there's a, there's a conspiracy. It was just like, oh, you didn't know. But there was, yeah. <laughs> but it was like revenge at its finest, too. <laughs> yeah, it was levels. It was levels yeah. of revenge. Levels of levels. Of yeah, levels. and then it's, it's it's all right. So this film, all right. First, this film, I'm giving this joint. Well, we'll we'll do the we'll do the ratings at the end. My first impressions is that the Russo brothers get it. Period. They get it. They get comic books. They get characters. They get their emotions and their motivations. They get it. That's all I can say. They are the perfect people to be in the driver's seat for this Marvel right under Kevin Feige. Um, I guess we can start getting into kind of like, because one thing that I liked is that they all had a chance to, everybody had their little chance to shine. So I guess let's get into, let's, let's start, let's start small. Um, <laughs> give me, uh, give me your impressions on Ant-Man, Avery. Film wasn't small at all. <laughs> Ant-Man was Ant-Man 2.0. He approved upon yeah, himself yeah, yeah, yeah. from the movie. And he wasn't even in the movie that long, but he improved upon himself from the movie and he still was funny. Like it was his own movie. Like. Mike said funny, everyone had a chance to shine. What's funny is like he was he was kind of important, but then he was they still were able to put him in as sort of a quote unquote running joke. Yeah. Type of thing. And I like that balance of it because it was like, oh he's important, but it was like sad man. Yeah, everybody <laughs> everybody got it's kinda like it's kinda like this movie is almost like a jazz band where everybody got their little solo, but it it wasn't in it wasn't a distraction from the band, but in service so you to saying, the band. So, like, so you saying it's like Wu Tang, you know, the nine like, members, thirty six chambers, and it's, it's definitely for the children. Yeah, but, yeah. But uh, like Ant Man, I feel like you got to see like an outsider. I mean, as far as he's concerned, you got to see an outsider come into this group of Avengers and kind of. Yeah, two, two major outsiders. Yeah, two major outsiders. But we'll get to we'll get to him because okay. yeah. Can we say that? Yeah. Hmm? Three outsiders. Yeah, we can say three outsiders. Who's the third one? Uh, Black Panther was a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Black Panther, Ant Man, yeah. and Spider Man. So, yeah. But, like, Ant Man, it was great to see kind of his interaction and how he was ready to, like, jump in. He was all about it. Like, he was like, oh, really? 
let's go. Even for being a rookie. Yeah, because he'd only really fought, you know, like, you know, like one. Boss, his real, own, his own. He yeah, you know, fighting on no big time. Yeah, so, but. Moving on, the next person, we might as well stay in that insect kingdom. You know what I'm saying? What do you feel about well, Tom Holland? He's a rat, a rat Well, a rat nit. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> still things that you can spray with Raid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it may or may not die. May or may not kill him. <laughs> but how do you feel about Tom Holland, um, Spider-Man, Chris? How do, you, how do you feel about My first impressions of what I've seen so far, there was nothing about him that I didn't like. I would go ahead and stamp my seal of approval and saying <laughs> the best casted Spider-Man so far. Wow. And that's first impressions coming off the film from what I've seen. He he really he's grown on me. He grew on me real fast. Real that, quick. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's the way he's written. Also, you know, I gotta give him props for the way he acted in the role. He did grow on me fast. He kept to how Spider-Man has that banter that annoy you. He yeah. did that perfect. And I just want to say this so nobody overlooks this. Is this me or is Aunt May doing the Benjamin Banneker, Benjamin Bunner, <laughs> button joint? Well, I think and on top of that, she I think, was fine. Yeah, I I'm think, like, yo. I think everybody knows that one, but I, 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 I very much approve of Aunt May. I super I no approve of Aunt May. Hashtag don't tell my girl, but uh, yeah, I super approve. <laughs> Hashtag put Marissa Tomei in more movies <laughs> from here on out. But um, I'll say, like, when it comes to. It, he really brought across that that kind of like he was fighting but it was lighthearted. It was the stakes are never really high for Spider-Man. Well most of the time. Of course mm -hmm. you've had his issues with Doc Ock and stuff like that. But he kept it real light uh, and it was just fun to see. The only thing we were missing was him pissing off Wolverine. That's the only thing that we're mm -hmm. missing. Fox, get on that. But the only thing we were really missing was him Better pissing off Fox. Wolverine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, moving on. Well, he we, pissed off Falcon enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he definitely he And he pissed off Captain a little bit. When our Captain liked him after. He's, yeah. like, he's like, where you from? Oh, yeah. oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, my bad. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trust keep it big, so we gotta keep, we gotta keep oh. on each other for the spoilers. Okay. Oh, no, no, this is spoiler, this is spoiler, we're doing all spoilers on this. This is, this right, is well, a spoiler review. Make this sure that in the, in the metadata. You oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Spoiler heavy. The title in is spoiler, we're spoiler definitely heavy. in all caps, so if they, if they can't read, all right. you know what I'm saying? Well, they, like, they bonded over a New York moment. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and so I guess we can move on. Oh, let's, let's talk about Zemo. Because Baron Zemo was kind of a heavy, like, not heavy hitter, but he was right under Red Skull in the back, the, the, the villains for Captain America. And the way that they did this dude, mm -hmm. his plan was so intricate, intricate yeah, and thought out. Day. He didn't even throw no punches. And he at the end, he won. He yeah. really won at the end. Yeah. He won. He, he, that's one of that's the bad guys that actually won. The, but yeah. if you look at the comics and the way they're written, it's never really the heavy hitters who really get under the skin of them. Heroes. It's the guys with the long game, with the mind game that you can't figure out. And it's just like this kind of remind me of identity crisis a little bit. How that's you know, I, was. yeah, identity crisis. That's a dope. He, that's a dope story. He pulled the identity crisis. Yeah, uh, oh, Zemo. All of y'all out there, if y'all have never everybody. read, yeah, yeah. Right. If y'all haven't read DC's Identity Crisis from like 2004 five, or something, five, yeah, something yeah, like something like that. Y'all should definitely check it out. But back to this movie story. Story-wise, how y'all feeling? No complaints. I, I think I'm, at the beginning of this podcast, I've already <laughs> stated how I feel about this movie. I'm a full ten out of ten as of, as of right now, and this is directly after seeing the movie. Like I'm after still, that, I still I'm, need I'm, the process. I'm a, I'm a 11. twenty-five out of ten. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, first of all, I, I just want to be real about this. Yeah, it was Captain America and Iron Man in this movie. Word. But they let the African American, the brother, the black man shine quite a bit in this movie. Yeah, yeah. I was trying, I was trying to hold that to the okay, end. Okay, well, 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 well <laughs> let, 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 we, I, I'll we press gonna, pause. I press pause. Actually, not not just him either, because Falcon had yeah, a we, lot of spots. Where yeah, because I know I was about to, that's what I was about to name it, but he, 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 he yeah, told me like, to hold should, off. You told me to hold off. You told me to hold off. So when you think about Falcon's transition from comic to movie, you kind of like. Falcon's cool, I guess. But then you see this movie, you're like, nah, Falcon's ill. Falcon's that Falcon dude. Falcon got some tricks. Even, even in Wilter Soldier, 
Falcon, like, was, he was never set up as like the sidekick guy. He was set up as a person that- A compliment. He believed what Captain America believed in, so he fought with him, not yeah, but, like for him. But, you know this what I mean? movie, he was truly like on par, I felt like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah like, definitely. And he's like, dude, that's not gonna happen again, all right? Yeah, yeah, like, but there's, yeah, man, there's so <laughs> many, so many moments. Like, oh, hold, hold up. How about Black Widow got Black Widow by, um, was that Spider-Man? No, no, by, um, by Ant-Man. You know how she do oh, that yeah. jump on you, oh, yeah, yeah. in the air joint? Yeah, yeah. And she tried to do that, he's like, uh-uh, got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got <laughs> Like, all right, so there's, speaking of Black Widow, there is this moment in the film where, Moments. um, uh, yeah, she had a couple where few. I don't know if it's Shuri. I don't think they really identified. That was, certain, who, no, that was, that was one of the. Bar- that was one of the. Yeah, that was Shuri, one of the. Um, it would be. That was one of the. Uh, what like what one of the Diamoje or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the, the, black, think, the, yeah the, the, the Malaje. Yeah. Malaje. Yeah. Diom- I th- don't it start with a D or something. I thought it was Malaje. Yeah. It's Diamoje or whatever. Yeah. we'll find but, out. Direct us in the comments. But they, they, uh, yeah, direct us in the comments. But they, one of his, you know, one of Black Panther's personal guards has a eye to eye moment with Black Widow and like everybody in the theater is like Yes, don't do <laughs> like, like, like well, yo, luckily, like Black, Black Widow, Widow, Black Widow, you don't really anything. want this right now. Luckily she didn't try anything because I was like, oh no, man. no. The joke that made me laugh, Black Panther was like, as much as I would like to see that. <laughs> he, started, he started smiling instantly. Like, it was like, yo, yo, and and yo, on the real, like the Malaje do not be playing no games with the with the clothing. Yeah, I, I would say, <laughs> I would say, Malaje are more ruthless than T'Challa. Well, yeah, they they're rough, man. It's unless, like, unless, it's, they, unless it's something serious about like the country truly being like in turmoil, and like he's got to go out and like really put somebody down. Word. But they're like from from the jump. They're at hundred. Yeah, they, <laughs> like they, they don't not play. play no games. So, all right. So, hold up. What was they at when the daddy got blown up there? Well, well I think it, that's why the child was. There. Yeah, yeah, he was. Oh, you know, yeah. so because he was the one like watching the perimeter. And yeah, yeah. So back to because there's so many there's so many interconnected stories. But one thing that Baron Zemo was really trying to do is try to get these guys to like break themselves up mm-hmm. and. The great thing that I think that's handled in this film is seeing these people react to each other in ways that are believable. They have real motivations Mm -hmm. for their beefs with each other. They have real, you know, real, uh, like, reactions to things that happened in the past, things that they might need to let go, things like, like, this movie deals with a lot. It deals with grief. It deals with uh, revenge. It deals with the ideology of justice. It, it deals with like loyalty, tested yeah. well, loyalty, yeah, Par- parental approval. I, I think, yeah. a lot of, I think a lot of critics and fans have always, ever since these Marvel uh, slash Disney movies have come out, they've always put Marvel like in this box. It was like, well, it's too colorful, it's yeah. too lighthearted, and then you see. The way DC is kind of approaching their movies is supposed to be like darker and, yeah. and quote unquote supposedly better well written. Marvel was like, all right, you go first. <laughs> go first. And then, then Civil War comes out and it's like, not only are we going to kill your numbers, yeah. our storyline destroys whatever you try to put out. Yeah, this. By this, calling us too colorful, too playful for kids. Well, like, I don't think DC movie, ever said it. The, the, well, I think the, fans, the, the, the basic fans have said yeah, it. Yeah. But I think. But I, I kind of disagree world of, with that. I guess, a competition between the both of them. Yeah. I, I feel like Marvel was like, all right. But here's the thing, though. <laughs> even within the Marvel, even though it has been a little more colorful, each movie character has had its own set of directors. You know, John Favreau did his own thing with the first two Iron Men. Yeah. Uh, the dude who did Thor. Oh, Favreau. Favreau. Favreau, yeah. Favreau. Favreau my bad. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The dude that did the two Thors, they all got their own little style. But these yeah. dudes right here that are done the Russo, the Russo yeah. brothers, did they man. do Captain America one though, or they only I did? I don't know who did the first one. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not can't sure remember. In the comments, let us know who did the first one. We're gonna have we fact gonna, checking on. We're gonna on, start having IMDb. Yeah, we're gonna have at IMDb ready. up. But um, at next time we do. I was just saying they had their own different styles, and these dudes took it to where, you know, you could take like you said, yeah. like what Captain America did. You could take these dudes. Take the powers away, and this will still be a good movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. like this, this film because what they've done is they've paired back 
And when I say they, I mean Marvel in general because they're the ones that have been able to oversee this. What they've done is they've taken the superhero film and paired it back to be being about more than just a cape or more than just you know some shield or something like that this is about these people are going through these issues with each other and they just happen to have powers. yeah and they, you know what i'm saying it's just amazing how they're still able to do that and they'll still be like i want to see these guys fight yeah like, <laughs> it's like oh by the way you want to see this really great fight yeah it's like there's a bunch of revenge going on and a bunch of lies and a bunch of secrets and a bunch of backstabbing but do you want to also see cool fights and the way they do it is blatant and i just love it because the story is intricate and then it's like they about to fight y'all yep and it, it just happens and it's incredibly entertaining well i think one person i really got i feel like i said i feel bad about this Tony Stark's Iron Man, he really got worked over in this movie. Yo, ever since... Because he was feeling the guilt from all... You know, since the first Avengers? Though, yeah, well, even before... Oh, man, he was the first movie. Yeah, yeah first movie. since the first movie. Yeah. yeah, like... Okay, my dad's company was selling weapons on the side, people getting killed. Alright. Then, as he tallied up all the different incidents that the Avengers been through and all the collateral damage... And then you know that he really feeling bad about Ultron. Yeah, and he even be, said that to Tony. I mean, said that to uh, Steve. You yeah. know, and it would be great. I don't know. I don't. I'm gonna cut you off. No, you good. Sometimes it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be great if if um, Tony Stark, Rob Downey Jr. signed off for one more Iron Man and Demon in the bottle. Like everything just leads up to him just drinking Yo. that whole intervention thing. Like, hey. Really now, <laughs> I hate, and I know there's going to be a, a DC lovers out there. I do not hate DC. I'm excited for Suicide Squad, but I have to go hey, back to this. I said this about Batman v Superman a while back. This is not a film that you start your cinematic universe in. Perfect example. We have had how many Marvel films? Like, I don't know, 15, whatever. So 15, <laughs> well, and now... You talking about the cinematic ones? Or the Cinema ones cinematic ones. So starting with the, Iron Man. The new, yeah. There's been, let's say approximately 10, okay? So, all right, let's say 10. With, with 10 films, now we're having them fight each other. Not starting, if they fought each other in like the second movie, it wouldn't even make no sense because there would be no history. There yeah. would be no, there would be nothing for them to look back on and be like, man, we're about to lose this friendship over something. It would, it doesn't mean anything. Just like, took us unfortunately, a, a film that came out in March yeah. didn't really mean anything because there was no history yet. But I digress. This is about how great this film is. So I'm not going. I think don't go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to fall down. Don't fall off. I'm the not going to go down that. So this film, like, it's just well crafted. You get a you get a chance for everyone to shine. You get these great action sequences. You get top quality acting out of everybody. Like, everybody came to play in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any wasted scenes in this. There aren't any scenes where it's like, oh, that should have been cut, or that should have been cut. Like, all of these scenes mean something. Mm -hmm. And all of them add up in the end. There's a payoff in the end. Mm -hmm. And even when it comes to, like, the post credit scenes, it's just like... More Man, I can't. This set up. It's like it's put together well. It's well acted. It's well shot. This thing really fires on all cylinders, and I think that the Russos, Kevin Feige, Marvel, they just they know how to make films now because they're not they're not just superhero films or comic book films. They're just making films now, which are dope and happen to have our lovable characters from when we were young, and that it. I'm just. I'm blown away. I'm completely impressed. If you've already seen the, well, you should have already seen the movie because you're listening to this, but I stress to you, go see the movie one more time in the theater. At least one more time two just more to times. enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two more times if you can, but at least one more time in the theater because this, we've, we've got to support films that are good. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that's like just quality, man. Disney gets money. <laughs> what, yo, oh, damn. excuse me, what did I say <laughs> in the uh, May the 4th? This is about getting that money and everyone's yeah, money. All oh, yo, Star Wars. They, want, they want your yeah, two fairy like, money. They, they want not your. Been slipping this they, year, they yo. They will get it. They yo. will get my money. <laughs> well, okay, so. And now they talking about doing a dag on another Indiana Jones. Like, yeah, so just, it's like. Most likely it's going to be dope. They will get my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, 
Well, they're not a monopoly. You know, Viacom, Viacom, Comcast. You know, um, Warner they Brothers. Them. They own. They own a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, yo, all right. So around the table, we're clear. What? Ten out of ten. Everybody was. No, it was twenty five. Oh, it's 25 out of 10. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah. we're, we're about 45 out of 10. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're about 45 out of 10 collectively. Yeah. Yo, you guys should go see the film. It's amazing. I can't stress it enough. Let's go around the table. Favorite moments, Avery. Oh, no, excuse me. Four favorite moments. Yeah. I forgot to talk. We got to talk as three brothers on a podcast. We need to talk about the ill level of representation of brothers that look like us on the screen. We had War Machine, we had Falcon, we had the brother Black Panther doing his thing. I'm surprised Nick Fury didn't come through, but that, I, I forgot about that, so I won't trip him. He's supposed but, to be well, on the low now. I, yeah. I, I like it because it still leaves me in the back of my, high, my head, like, okay, he's still trying to figure out how did S.H.I.E.L.D., I mean, how did, how did you truly get under S.H.I.E.L.D. and then be able to bring that information back and put S.H.I.E.L.D. back, on back where it's supposed to be. Yeah. 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 So Because um, now, right now, we I got General cool. Ross walking around and it's not yeah, great. Yeah, he, he really yeah. don't need to be there. But, Thunderbolt Ross. Thunderbolt. But, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, so, <laughs> Red Hulk. I have to say, it's great to, it's great to see the Raft prison. It's great to see brothers in this joint and they're not being downplayed. Because there's been many years where it's like there's brothers on the screen, but we're downplayed. Okay. This film, we've I'm been a, represented pretty well. I want to break this down. Black Panther came with it. Yeah. Dude was fighting Captain and Buggies simultaneously chasing, up, chasing after them. Speed out the wazoo. They sitting there. No, what about when the plane... Well, the dude in the helicopter came with the machine gun. He was, and was like, shooting whatever. him, and it was just <laughs> bouncing. He just looked up like, "Why are you shooting?" <laughs> yeah. Shoot me? Okay. And then he looked intelligent and smart and diplomatic. Yeah. His yeah. dad was smart and diplomatic too, and it makes you wonder: Was he a Black Panther before? Most likely. Because remember, they showed him take that well, ring. Yeah, he off. took the ring and he put yeah, his. Yeah. Down, so so yeah. he mostly we likely know. had it. Okay. And he did establish that. They really stepped up Falcon. Falcon looked real strong, and, yeah. and he was just beasting. And then War Machine was doing his thing until his uh, injury, but he, like was, he was doing his thing. The surprise Avenger out of everybody for me was Falcon. Like, all the extra stuff. The way he shields himself. Yeah. The yeah. Way. Not, not even the, the birds. I always knew that was kind of coming. Just all the tactics that he yeah. learned, strategies and all that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, he's like, shielding I knew, himself. Yeah, I knew yeah. what everybody else was coming with, but Falcon was really like, oh, okay. Hold yeah, on, I want to talk about something else too. Marvel, you saw how they slid in there that Vision got feelings, right? Yeah. You could tell he got a crush on well, yeah. with Wanda, yeah. Yeah, we and then he got people. distracted and shot the crap out of out of uh, War Machine. So what if that had a hit Falcon? If that would have had a hit Falcon, Falcon would have had a big gaping hole in his chest. Y'all yeah, realize Falcon that probably, right? He probably would have killed Falcon. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he he probably would have killed Falcon with that. But don't. Nobody, yeah. Everybody want to yell at Wanda, though. But I, I digress. Yeah, yeah. So, Chris, favorite moment? Uh, the whole thing. <laughs> My favorite moment was just seeing... Time and time again, Black Panther, well represented. I'm so excited for his film. Um, at first, I was worried. I was like, I was like, man, if they put him on here and he whack, I was gonna be hurt. But, yo, man, we were well represented in this film, and and also in the way that their 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 relationships were real inside of the Avengers. They didn't just like slide into the side or anything. Or they weren't diminished. Like, like the relationship, even when Cap kissed uh, old girl, like you know, you saw like the look oh, of yeah. approval. You saw. The, oh, yeah. oh, when, when, when they were in the car, they were like, they were like, yeah, 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 yeah player. He's <laughs> like, I see you, dog. I see you. <laughs> so it's like it's you see these attachments to each other, and, that, and that's, that's why Cap's oldest best friend and his new good yeah, friend you know, too. Man, so, so it's like, his boy, that's so it's yeah. like it's it's just great, man. This the too bad amazing. Iron Man won't there for that. Tony needed to kind well, of be there yeah, for that they, too. They're feeling some type of way. They, they're going through some things. Yeah, yeah, they're going through some things. My so. favorite moment was ooh, when I saw. It's too many, man. 
when they first showed Black Panther running, in my mind, I was like, yo, I know they're gonna do them justice in this movie. And then in this other scene, when they showed the Big Panther statue. Oh yeah, and I was just crazy. like, I was like, yep. I was All like, right. that's it. So yep. I guess is it unanimous? This movie is great. Go see it. Recommend it. Buy it on Blu-ray. I'll probably go see it again tomorrow. I, I know I'm definitely seeing it on Sunday. Or Sunday, one of these yeah, two days. I'm most likely going to check it out on Sunday again. Yeah. This movie is amazing. Look from here. Oh, also we got to give a shout out to Carmike Ovation Ten in Midlothian, Virginia. It's amazing they you know hosted us, let us yeah, do this podcast. podcast. Yes, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you oh, very Chester, much. And, uh, <laughs> Chesterfield County Police for keeping us oh, safe yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's great. You know they have hosted us. Great seats, great screens, and some great food. But we must say peace because this was the bomb. <laughs>